In this video, we will control the speed of a step motor using a Raspberry Pi Model 3B with the speed control algorithm designed, deployed, and monitored using the Altair Embed product. The Embed product provides access to all peripherals on the Raspberry Pi. For this motor control, we will use three digital outputs, one for the motor step command, another for the motor direction, and a third for an LED. The stepper motor being controlled is a MoTeC MT1703HS168A four-wire bipolar step motor. It has a step angle of 1.8 degrees, accepts a control voltage between 12 and 24 volts DC, and draws up to 1.68 amps. The Raspberry Pi 3 Model B is a single board computer with wireless LAN and Bluetooth connectivity. It supports 40 pins of general purpose input output, GPIO, an Ethernet port, USB, camera, HDMI, and a micro SD port. The pinouts are expanded and defined on the right side of this slide. We will be using three GPIO channels, channel number 16, 20, and 21, located in the lower right corner. The Texas Instrument DRV8825 stepper motor controller board provides an integrated PWM motor driver with built-in micro-stepping capability up to 1 32nd of a step. It is designed to control a single four-wire step motor using two digital input pins, a step and a direction, both located on the lower left corner of the board. Connections between the Raspberry Pi pins, the DRV8825 pins, the step motor, and a 12-volt DC 1-amp power supply are made in five steps. First, the Raspberry Pi GPIO 21 pin is connected to the step pin on the DRV8825, and GPIO 20 is connected to the direction pin, also on the DRV8825. Next, any one of the ground pins on the Raspberry Pi is connected to the ground pin on the DRV8825. Here we're using pin 39 on the Raspberry Pi. Next, the not enable not reset and not sleep pins are set low, high, high. The high signal is obtained from the 3.3 volt pin 1 on the Raspberry Pi and low is a 0 volt open circuit signal. Setting not enable to low enables the H bridges and the rising edges on the step pin are recognized. Setting not reset to high prevents the reset operation from occurring and setting not sleep to high prevents the 8825 from entering a low power state. Next, the motor power supply is connected to the VMOT and ground inputs. The ground is also connected to the Raspberry Pi ground, pin 39. For this experiment, we are using a 12-volt DC power supply. A bulk capacitor must be installed across the VMOT and ground lines. For this experiment, we'll use a 25-volt 100 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. Before connecting the motor, the current limit value must be set using the trim pod on the 8825 device. The current limit value is a voltage called VREF and is calculated as one half the rated current per phase. For our motor, this is 1.68 amps divided by 2 or 0.84 volts. VREF is measured using a multimeter with the COM connected to the power supply COM and the voltage input connected to a screwdriver using an alligator clip. The screwdriver is then positioned into the trim pot, completing the voltage measurement circuit. The 12 volt power supply is turned on and the trim pot is rotated using the screwdriver until the multimeter reads 0.84 volts. Our four wire stepper motor has two phases, an A phase and a B phase. Each phase has two wires. For the A phase, the wires are named A1 and A2, for the B phase, they are named B1 and B2. We need to identify the two wires associated with each phase. Spinning the motor by hand produces a back EMF in each of the two phases, which can light an LED. By testing individual wire pairs, it's easy to identify our motor phase wires. I've connected the four motor wires to a breadboard with the wires in no particular order. The blue wire is the topmost wire, followed by the black, red, and yellow wires. Next, I've placed a red LED between the blue and black wires, a green LED between the blue and red wires, and a yellow LED between the blue and yellow wires. Spinning the motor by hand shows the green LED lighting up. This means the blue and red wires are one phase, 
and the black and yellow wires are the other phase. Now that I've identified the motor phase wires, I'll connect them to the DRV8825. The yellow and black wires are connected to pins B2 and B1 on the DRV8825, and the blue and red to pins A1 and A2. On either phase, the wire order does not matter. For example, we could have connected the yellow to pin B1 and the black to pin B2. Also, the phase does not matter. For example, we could have connected the yellow to pin A1, the black to pin A2, the red to pin B1, and the blue to pin B2.